what's up everybody welcome back to another video guys today i'm just gonna keep it real with you i was gonna do a new season four pack video but there's been something that's on my mind and in my opinion guys warzone is dying so stay tuned for the video guys i'm gonna tell you why and maybe what we can do to fix this issue all right so let's get right to it All right, guys, real quick before we get into the video, I did want to mention my Patreon. We have amazing support over there, close to 200 members already. There's three different tiers, guys. You have your Pro Pack spreadsheet, $10 spreadsheet also includes your Taylor Drift 20 win values, and the $20 gives you that one on one VIP and Discord. We'll get on one on one calls if you need help, if you want to play games, and you get access to both of the spreadsheets as well. So join the Patreon. Also, guys, I do have channel memberships now live. They've been live for a while, but I haven't pushed them or made them public or anything like that if you don't want to go through patreon you can actually just sub to my channel right here guys and then it's going to give you three different tiers just like you would get on the patreon some people have complained about how patreon bills you because what will happen is if you're joining the patreon guys make sure you join at the first of the month if you join at the end of the month it's also going to bill you at the first of the month just the way it is they don't prorate your memberships with patreon which is kind of scammy in my opinion i wasn't happy about that i didn't realize that at first that's on me so I did want to give you guys the option to join my channel this way and get the same access without having to get, you know, almost double billed if you join at the end of the month. So if you are joining on the Patreon, make sure you do it at the beginning of the month or you can just join on the channel directly here. Also, protect yourself with NordVPN. I'll drop an affiliate link in the description below, guys, along with the Patreon. That way, if you want to get easier lobbies, if you have a friend in a different country you want to play with, it lowers your ping without having to go through a lot of different proxies and through your ISP. So definitely check that out. Protect yourself. All right, let's get to the video. Let me vent a little bit. All right, guys, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of season four stuff lately. I'm enjoying the season four pack so far. I was working on the LC-10S, XM4, uh, some different guns and stuff, as you can see here. But I did want to just mention something real quick, guys. I don't know if y'all are having the same issue as I am a lot of people are complaining about the hackers in warzone this is the number one reason why i believe warzone is dying at the moment is because of these hackers right there's no anti-cheat software or anything like that so that's going to be the problem a lot of these hacks are going undetected until they go through a band wave and then it's weeks later before they even catch these hacks so guys i've been very frustrated in the past two weeks every game i get into this there seems to be like one or two hackers just clear hackers and that's just what i'm running into so i'm sure there's even more in those lobbies now of course if you're on console you're not going to have as many issues you know being on console you're not going to run into uh, as many hackers right so that's the number one reason obviously but another reason why warzone is dying in my opinion is the bugs guys there's so many bugs there's glitches it seems like every update that you just can't get around it takes a while for them to fix it or if it is a bug that affects the money, like the unlock tool, of course, they're going to fix it right away. But why aren't they fixing these anti-cheats, right? I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Are you having these hacker issues? I get a lot of comments complaining about using the Cronus, guys. But in comparison, the Cronus does not even compare to these ESP hacks, these aimbot hacks, these god mode hacks. So let's just go through some of these clips real quick, just so you guys can get an idea of uh, why these hacks are so overpowered even if you have a cronus or if you're the best player in the world it doesn't matter you're not going to be able to stack up with these hacks right and in a future video guys i will be covering uh the difference between a cronus and a bot for those who are unsure just for all those haters that come in here and comment cheater 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 you know whatever they've probably never used a cronus for one or hacks so they don't know the difference so in the future i'll explain the difference in a more detailed video so let's just get into some clips real quick guys i want to kind of show you what i'm talking about all right so right here guys this is a prime example of god mode this is not anything you can do to overcome this if you run to somebody with god mode on you're gonna lose this fight every single time because their shield is unlimited right we're gonna play it without audio and you can just see how many shots are landed no damage done boom you're dead so how can you overcome that well, you can't, right? So until they add an anti-cheat to where you can actually load up the game, they see if any third-party software is running, this game is gonna continue to die. All right, so you've seen God Mode. Can't overcome that, absolutely no way. It's just way overpowered, right? And then of course, you've got all these different other options, right? Engine owning is one example. I mentioned it before. I was using it just for the unlock tool, 
but they also give you ESP. But the thing about a lot of these hacks now, they're getting more advanced. It's not as obvious as you would think. So what you're getting though with some of these aim bots is you can actually aim instead of just doing headshots, you can aim for the torso, the spine, the legs, anything like that. And then they also have what's called aimbot smoothing where the aimbot is actually smoother than what you normally get where it's that straight lock on that's just completely obvious and you're getting reported right away, right? Sometimes you look at somebody and you're like, man, I think he's hacking, you know? But you're not sure, right? And that's because they have this aim smoothing now where it almost makes it impossible to even be sure that they're hacking unless you go on their COD tracker, pull up their profile, and then you see that, you know, just in the past week they've started to drop 20 kills versus before they're only dropping like three or four, right? So you'll see the aimbot right here in this video. Very clearly, all you have to do, you have your ESP on, you see where the targets are, the lock on does the work for you. It's just, it's frustrating, obviously, to players. Even with the Cronus community, guys, it's kind of frustrating because there's no way to overcome this, right? If they know where you're at, and all they have to do is just click on their mouse or hold down the trigger on their controller. I mean, there's nothing you can do, right? It's, it's GG's, boys. So this is just one video I just wanted to vent on, guys. This is why Warzone is dying. And we'll take another look at another clip because it's being celebrated, right? Even on Reddit and TikTok, they're posting clips of themselves hacking and nothing's being done about it, right? Activision, all their main streamers. You can check out Huskers, Twitter, Mutex. I know he's been accused of using the Cronus. I don't even care at this point. If you're not using the Cronus, you stand no chance in this game whatsoever. I'm just very fed up with all the hackers. And I know, like I said, I'll get some comments on this for saying, oh, you're using the Cronus. Guys, the Cronus does not even compare. And look out for my future video. I'll compare the two and just kind of show you the difference. With the Cronus, you still have to have good tracking, good movement and everything like that. You're not gonna know where your players are versus like with aimbot, it does all the work for you. It's just absolutely ridiculous. But as you can see here, this is very obvious aimbot. This is before they had the smooth aim aimbot implemented. This is just, you know, absolutely obvious, right? And then what happens is if you go and all you have to do, you go on Google Warzone hacks or Reddit. I mean, they pop up right away, right? You get all these different ones. Now, of course, some of these are going to get you banned right away. They're going to ban your hardware ID, which is your PC or whatnot, your IP address, which is good. But the problem is they take so long to actually detect those cheats, right? So that's what's very frustrating is people are using these cheats on alternate accounts for weeks at a time. And then when you're using a ESP, you get the box of the person, right? You're not aimbotting. So that person, you know, on the kill cam is not going to see that you know where they were. You can play it off very, very easily, guys. And a lot of streamers, believe it or not, I think are using esp i'm not saying all of them are a lot of them are i think swag's pretty clean huskers is pretty clean symphony's pretty clean but when it comes to esp i think a lot of streamers are using it you're just not able to see it guys there's even an option where you can have it hidden from your streaming setup so you're not actually seeing what the player is seeing on their screen so guys i just wanted to throw this video up there this is why i think warzone is dying and one other reason it's gonna die is because we've got the new Battlefield coming out, which I'm very excited about, the new Halo coming out, which are gonna be covering all the Cronus content on that. Um, and I'm still gonna probably, in the future, I'm gonna be doing some other content with other games just because the hacker situation is so crazy. But I'm still gonna to continue to put out Warzone content. I'm gonna be doing some custom games, working with other people, uh, more live streams and things like that, and playing with you guys. It's been amazing. Like I said, I can't thank you guys enough for the support. But, you know, like I said, it's just this is my number one reason why warzone is dying and why i don't know activision or whoever is doing anything about it i don't know maybe they're just money hungry and they don't care um but it shouldn't be that hard to put an anti-cheat in the game right and this is coming from me right i support the cronus i have no problem with people using the cronus you can get you know more of a level playing field but with aimbot esp and things like that and there's nothing you're gonna be able to do right all right ggs boys Hopefully they fix this soon. Hopefully Warzone doesn't die out. Anyway, I appreciate all the love and support, guys. I'm going to get back to working on Season 4 stuff. I've been helping a lot of patrons as well, guys. I appreciate all the love and support on that. It's been amazing so far. I got to go help some people. Also, guys, I did want to announce we do have the memberships that are live now. You can join my channel right here. And it's going to give you all the same access that you would get on Patreon spreadsheets all that good stuff taylor drift 21 pro pack you name it and then of course when we go live 
uh, you'll have your uh, membership there as well. You'll be able to play games with me and things like that. So definitely join the channel. If you don't like the way you know Patreon bills you, definitely join the channel. We also have affiliate through NordVPN if you want to get those easier bot lobbies. Definitely go ahead and join up on that connect to different regions also for a lot of people it can lower your ping because you're connecting directly to a server instead of having to go through your isp and different proxies and things like that join the discord if you would like to guys it's been going off crazy i've been modding a lot of people uh trying to get everybody in there to share their values and just talk and hang out it's a good place to be guys i want to grow this community and i want it to be bigger than the cronus right i want it to be about you guys us coming together gaming has changed it's no longer for people that are nerds it's a lifestyle now i truly believe that so i want this community to stay even if the cronus dies out i want to build those relationships with you guys and like i said i can't thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have been incredible so this week guys we'll probably do some more uh season four pack videos and some taylor drift videos i'll be working on my spreadsheets every video that you see i'm using some values that i'm working on in the spreadsheets or on these different packs and scripts and things like that also trying out a new script this week i'll let you know how that goes but that pretty much covers it for this video guys let me know in the comments below what you think is warzone dying are you looking forward to a new game are you getting sick of all these hackers and warzone i'm gonna start saving these kill cams from my next video guys so you can see what i am running into i know i have a little bit higher kdr than a lot of averages it's just crazy you know to me the amount of hackers we get and a lot of them are level ones uh i understand like the unlock tool i'm no problem with that guys but i just wanted to vent i wanted to throw this video up for you guys my opinion let y'all hear it maybe activision will see it along with all the streamers the more we speak out on it i think the better it'll be honestly all right that pretty much covers it i'm gonna get back to grinding We'll see, uh, we we'll should be streaming hopefully later tonight, if not tomorrow, since I wanted to do this video, guys. Like I said, it just kind of came out of the blue. It came to me. I wanted to throw this up. So I appreciate all of the support. We'll see you. Take care, guys. We're out. Peace.